When planting native seed, a specific type of drill is generally required due to the fluffiness of the seed. Uh, the drill I'm going to be demonstrating today comes with three boxes designed to be able to handle all the different sides of seeds you will be using. The first box I'll be describing is the middle box, which is called the chaffy box, which is designed specifically for the light fluffy seed. It has these large agitator wheels in it to keep the light fluffy seed moving. They also have these picker wheels on the bottom that grab the seed and move it down into the tubes below. The back box is made for the harder seed that will flow more easily. It also has agitator wheels to keep the seed into the center of the units and moving down into the tubes, which is moved by these picker wheels that are smaller down in the bottom of the boxes. The third box on this specific native seed drill is a setup similar to the back box, but is designed for very small seeds. Another specific feature of this drill is the no-till disc. These no-till discs allow a planting area to be planted in treatments that have not been tilled previously or have been treated with glyphosate and then would like to be planted following that chemical treatment. Another important feature of this drill are these planting discs. These planting discs have plant depth bands attached to them that ensure that the small seeded natives are only planted a half inch into the soil. That is highly important when dealing with native species that have very small seeds. Another important factor in these planting discs is that they place the seed into the soil at the, to ensure good seed to soil contact. An important feature of the Flex 2 drill is that each of these units moves independently and that prevents you from getting debris, woody debris caught in between the different discs and allow you to travel over rough terrain. The seed tubes that come down from the seed boxes attach directly to the back of each one of these units, ensuring that seed is not lost and is placed in the correct location by the planting discs. The final part is these rubber wheels that pack the soil after the seed has been placed in the ground and ensures good seed to soil contact. Now we can go over how to calibrate a seed drill. It's important to calibrate your seed drill to ensure that you are putting out the correct amount of pounds to the acre to ensure a pure stand. The first step in calibrating a, grain, a seed drill is to read your owner's manual. The owner's manual will include in-depth information and all the steps on how to calibrate it correctly. I will go over how to calibrate a Truax native seed drill. The first step for the True X drill is to jack up the drive wheel. We have already placed the drive wheel on a jack stand. The drive wheel can be determined by which wheel will actually drive gears or a chain that turns the unit. The second step is to remove seed tubes from three of the units. I choose the three outside units because they are easier to get to and easier to work with. Then you want to go ahead and add seed to those three units. Once you've done that, you prepare to catch the seed. First, you want to turn your drive wheel a few times to charge the system and ensure that seed is flowing evenly throughout the drill. I always recommend to turn the wheel at least five times. Once you have turned the wheel five times, you want to dump your output back into the seed boxes and prepare to catch the seed again. This time you will be turning the, the wheel a predetermined amount of time, times based on your owner's manual. For this seed drill, we want to turn it 28 times. So we would turn the drive wheel, marking a reference such as the valve stem, 28 full rotations. Once we have turn the wheel 28 full rotations, we will take the seed that we have caught and put it on a scale. The weight will determine if we have hit our target setting or if we need to adjust the drill. Now we can go ahead and show you how to adjust each box on the Truax drill. You can adjust the front two boxes on a Truax seed drill from the front of the unit. 
The front seed box, the small grass seeded box, can be adjusted using a slide lever. To adjust the front box, you would unscrew your wing nut and slide the lever to reach your desired setting. As you slide it to the left, you decrease your output. As you slide it to the right, you would increase your output. Once you've reached your desired setting, you want to tighten the wing nut back and lock it down. The middle box is adjusted using a gear type system, such as one you would find on a multi-speed bicycle. To adjust the middle box, we simply lift the idler pulley up to loosen slack in the chain, and then we move our chain over to the next sprocket on both ends, keeping it in line with the next gear on the bottom. Moving the chain to the right decreases the output. Moving the chain to the left increases the output. The back box is calibrated at the back of the unit. To adjust the back box, we simply loosen the locking mechanism, and then we slide the lever to the right to increase the output, or to the left to decrease the output, and then we lock it back once we have reached our desired setting.